Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your boy Bronzy Peak here, back at it again with another review. <clears throat> and in today, this is like another Marvel Legends figure. Probably like the videos that you guys have seen was just straight Marvel Legends. But anyway, I went to Walgreens today. Today we're going to be checking out the Marvel Legends Walgreens exclusive Marvel's Binary. Um, yeah, so basically, um, I saw this figure when I went to the Walgreens to pick up the Baron Zemo that I did a review on, so go please check that out. I saw this figure, uh, I saw her right next to the Baron Zemo, and I was like, hmm, I can only get one because I only have one money in my pocket, so I ended up getting the Baron Zemo, and then, you know, like, um, I ended up hiding the figure somewhere where they couldn't find it, and luckily, uh, when I came back, it was still there, so yeah, I went ahead and bought it, and here we are, so yeah. So today, here we have Marvel's Binary for Marvel Legends. So anyway, without further ado, let's go ahead and check out, uh, check out the packaging. So anyway, uh, as we can see, we got the nice window bubble featuring the figure inside. We got Marvel, Marvel's Binary by Hasbro. Marvel Legends series right there. Nothing at the top. It's just four and up. Side of the package, we get a comic shot. Mirror image on the side. Back of the package, we get Binary right there in the full image. And we got the... Um, the read up Let's see if i can zoom in got the read up there if you guys want to read it it comes in different languages so um there we go just in case if one of you guys are watching anyway so yeah that was the read up of marvel's binary so um yeah that was a package so let let's go ahead and get this figure out of the packaging and we'll check out how cool this figure is And here we got binary out of the packaging and always let's take a look at the accessories. So she comes with two fisted hands. Hmm, I might display her with these. I might display her with these two the fisted hands. Really cool. And then she comes with what's my personal favorite accessories. She comes with two fire accessories. Look. Check these out. Um, these are like the same accessories that came with like the Loki and the Scarlet Witch, the zombie Scarlet Witch that I reviewed, but just repainted. Pretty nice transparent plastic there, really nice. And then she also comes with these two fireballs. Yeah, I don't know what this pokey thing is. Wow, it's pretty sharp, but just check these out. I think they go through here. I think they're like, I think you're supposed to put in the fisted hands, I think. Hmm. I'm not sure. Maybe it fits. Okay, yeah, maybe it does fit. Um, but uh, yeah, these these look cool. I'll definitely be displaying her with these. So now let's go ahead and check out the figure. Um, okay. This figure is amazing. Oh, what the fuck? She has like dirt. Oh, look at this. It's like there's, there's dirt all over the fucking back of the head. But anyway, I got it off. The figure looks amazing. Again, it's just another crappy repaint, but eh, what are you going to do? So the head sculpt, starting at the head sculpt, it's really just a drenched in red. Um, I really like the coloring of the red that they used on the face sculpt. You can see the the white eyes right there. Just a blank expression overall. Um, amazing. And you can see what's my favorite part of the figure is the hair or possibly the head and there's still dirt oh my god what the fuck um but yeah you can see like this giant like fiery piece on the back it looks awesome i guess if you could take like a light and you know shine it it would look pretty cool really like that effect on the head 
it looks like it was glued on there but just really nice amazing um you can see the rest of the body is just basically a repaint you can see but the paint looks awesome you can see the the fire effects in there just a nice you can see some stars there pretty nice moving down you can see another pattern right here of the fire which i think looks pretty cool looks similar to the arm which i think it's the arm and then we got pins on the articulation but we got pinless up here on the arms overall and the feet look pretty good on this figure just it's just not a crappy repaint the ass looks nice what the fuck what the fuck is this look at this what what the fuck look at this what the fuck two holes on the back of what the fuck bro hold up look at this two large ass holes on the back of her what in the fucking fuck what is this for like do you attach this on the back or something like or is like is this to like or maybe is this for i think it's for a stand maybe but what the hell that fucking sucks dude dude what the fuck that is just but whatever like i'll i'll, I'll figure that out when we wrap this shit up um i have to go eat dinner so i'm gonna wrap this shit up quick so let's go over the articulation the articulation ball joint head it can move like up and down it can move pretty freely you can see the hinge right there uh the arms can move you know outward like that no bicep swivel um she does have a swivel here at the elbows a swivel here at the hands ab crunch right here at the breast area no waist articulation she does have some thigh swivel right here the legs can go kick up and forwards and backwards like so and double joints at the knees and also rotations at the legs like that so you can basically get her in a lot of cool poses which i think it's pretty neat that you can actually do that so um yeah it's pretty pretty neat so um yeah i definitely recommend picking up this figure if you guys have the chance this i mean it's another crappy repaint but this thing is amazing i can't wait to see how she looks like with the fire effects i think she's gonna look fucking amazing um but um yeah um i don't know it, i don't know what team she's in but if she is in a team then guys let me know because i'm really interested to know i can't wait to put her on with the collection um i am planning to do a collection video so um yeah stay tuned for that i'm planning to do that soon but um i just really hope that comes to mind but anyway um yeah that was the review on the marvel legends walgreens exclusive marvel's binary figure so yeah that was it. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys like this video, please give a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to turn on post notifications so you guys don't miss a new video every time it comes out. Share with your friends, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. As always, guys, take care. Bye-bye.